everyone, welcome to um, I Am Yogi. I'm Sophie and we're doing a flow today. So we'll get started straight away and we're going to start standing. So come to stand at the top of the mat and just make sure that you've got a bit of space between you and the top of the mat. And come to a loose mountain pose, loose Tadasana. So allow the arms to hang down by the sides of the body and do any little movements that you need to do to get yourself into your space. So you might just have a little shoulder roll, a little neck roll, maybe a couple of sighing breaths out through the mouth. And you can stand with the feet together or the feet apart, your choice, whatever feels more grounding and stable for you. Allow the arms to hang heavy, soft knees, and then closing the eyes or softening the gaze. And we'll take a couple of moments just to arrive and settle on our mats into our space today. So just noticing your body standing at the top of your mat. And starting to do a little scan through the body, just noticing how you feel today. Trying not to make any judgments, but just checking in. Whatever it is that you're bringing to your mat. So if you're working with any injuries, any niggles, just taking a moment to think about if there's anything that you need to do to make your practice safe, to make it right for you today. Noticing if your mind feels busy. Again, not making any judgments, but just acknowledging any thought that's on your mind right now. And try not to attach. And start to bring your attention to your breath. Noticing where it flows to in the body and the quality of the breath. See if you can send it a little bit deeper, maybe down towards the stomach or maybe feeling the ribs Rise as you breathe in, and then lengthening out the exhale. Starting to settle into a slow, steady rhythm for your breath. And if your mind starts to drift, gently guide it back to noticing the breath. So our focus for the class today is the word atha, meaning now. And this comes from many Sanskrit phrases, but in particular, it's from the first Yoga Sutra, Atta Yoga Anushasanam. And that means now the practice or exploration of yoga begins. So this sutra is inviting us to do the yoga, to show up on our mat right now, exactly as you are. So we're going to use Atta 
now as a mantra throughout our practice. Just that reminder to keep coming back to now, to what's happening right now. So we're going to scrunch up the fingers, make a fist. Take a moment just to come back to the breath if you've lost it. So just following the inflow and the outflow of the breath. Sending it a little bit deeper on the inhale and lengthening out the exhale. As you next breathe in, in your mind say at. And as you breathe out, ha. And lengthen out the ah sound. So you might let the breath out through the mouth. Breathing in, in your mind, at. And as you breathe out, in your mind, ha. Breathing in, at. And breathing out, ha. Starting to move with the hands. When you next breathe in, open and spread your fingers wide. In your mind, say, at. And as you breathe out, Scrunching up the fingers, in your mind say ha. Keep it going, inhale, open the fingers wide. And exhale, scrunching up the fingers. So go at your own pace. Maybe you slow it down a little bit more. repeating the Atta Mantra in your mind as you move the hands and follow the inflow and the outflow of the breath. We'll take a few more rounds. Take one more round of Atha and then just allow the hands to relax but keep focusing on your breath and keep repeating the mantra in your mind. Now releasing the mantra and just focusing on the inflow and the outflow of the breath. But remember you can come back to using the Atta Mantra at any point throughout your practice. That reminder to keep coming back to what's happening now. Start to roll through the wrists. You can blink the eyes open or you can keep them closed, your choice. Just giving the wrists a little roll, maybe wiggling the fingers. Maybe you need to have a little rock backwards and forwards. Taking the wrist rolls in the opposite direction if you haven't already. And then with your next inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Take hold of your right wrist with the left hand and reaching through your right fingertips, take a breath in, and with your exhale, leaning over to the right, or left. I've already gone wrong. <laughs> take a couple of breaths here. Inhale, come back to center, swap the grip. Inhale, reaching through the opposite fingers, and then exhale, take a side bend. And you can keep rolling through the wrists if you want to. You can keep wiggling the fingers. Inhale, back to center. With your exhale, soften the knees, hinge forward from the hips and fold all the way down. Just hang out here in your forward fold. You can take the feet a little wider if you want to. You can bend the knees. Let the whole body hang heavy and have a sway from side to side. So maybe you're taking hold of 
the elbows, let the head dangle. Keeping the breath flowing. Allow the arms to hang heavy, tuck the chin into the chest and with your next inhale, roll up slowly through the spine, take as many breaths as you need to. Once you're up, reach your arms up overhead, look to the thumbs and then exhale as you bend the knees and hinge forward from the hips, fold all the way down. Press down through the feet, inhale as you roll up, getting a little bit quicker, reach your arms up overhead and exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, roll up. Sweep your arms up overhead. Maybe you bring the palms together as you look to the thumbs and exhale to fold forwards. Bring the hands to the shins and with your inhale, lift to a half forward fold. So we're finding length in the spine. Just pause here and take a couple of breaths. So we're reaching out through the crown of the head, reaching out through the sit bones, shining our heart directly to the floor underneath the face. Take a breath in, and with your exhale, take your arms wide to a T position, palms are facing down, squeeze the shoulders. You can have a bend in the knees here. Find a little lift in the pelvic floor and hug the low belly in. With your next inhale, push through the feet, stand all the way up, reach the arms up overhead, look to the thumbs, and exhale as you fold all the way down. Getting a little bit quicker now. Hands to the shins, inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, arms wide to that T position. Inhale as you stand up, reach the arms overhead, look to the thumbs, and exhale, fold all the way down. Hands to the shins, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, arms wide. Inhale, stand, reach your arms up overhead, bring the palms together and exhale, hands to heart center and down by the sides of the body, Tadasana. Take a moment here to settle back into the breath. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead, look to the thumbs. Exhale, as you swan dive all the way down, take your arms wide. Hands to the shins, inhale, lift halfway and pause for a moment here. You can always bring the hands up to the thighs instead. Take another breath in and with your exhale, take your arms forwards into a Y position like your, and make a thumbs up sign. Squeeze the shoulders, breathe. Next inhale, stand all the way up, reach the arms up overhead, look to the thumbs, and exhale as you fold all the way down. Hands to the shins, inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, arms forwards, Y shape. Inhale to stand, and exhale one more as you fold forwards, folding all the way down. Hands to the shins, inhale, lift halfway, and exhale, Y shape with the arms. Inhale to stand, reach the arms up overhead, bring the palms together. Exhale, hands to heart center and down by the sides of the body, find your mountain pose. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale as you fold forwards. Hands to the shins, inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. And with your exhale, step your right foot to the back of the mat and set the knee down on the floor. With your inhale, lift up onto fingertips and draw your chest away from the front thigh. You might roll the shoulders back and down so that you can shine your heart forwards. Take a couple of breaths here and look down to your left big toe. With your next exhale, take your arms wide to that T shape. Squeeze the shoulders. Plant the palms down into the floor and step it back, downward facing dog. So first downward facing dog. So have a good pedal out through the legs. Spread the fingers. Send the hips high to the sky and just move in any way that feels good now. When you're ready, step the left foot to the left thumb. Make sure you feel grounded through the feet as you rise up. Sweep your arms up overhead. 
to a high lunge. Pause for a moment here, take a couple of breaths. So in these moments of stillness, of pauses, you can always come back to the Atta Mantra. Hands come down to the floor, step the right foot to meet the left at the top of the mat and fold forwards. Press down through the feet, inhale as you roll up through the spine, sweep the arms up overhead, look to the thumbs and exhale to swan dive all the way down, taking it on the left side. Hands to the shins, inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale as you fold, step the left foot to the back of the mat and set the knee down on the floor. Inhale as you lift up onto fingertips and draw your chest away from the front thigh. Exhale, arms wide to that T-shape. Pause for a moment here, look down to your right big toe. Plant the hands into the floor, step it back, downward facing dog. Stepping the right foot to the right thumb. Press firmly through the feet and rise all the way up as you sweep the arms up overhead, high lunge. Hands come down to the floor, step the left foot to meet the right foot at the top of the mat, fold forwards. Press down through the feet, inhale as you roll all the way up, sweep the arms overhead, look to the thumbs, and this time bring the hands to the heart center and down by the sides of the body, find your mountain pose. Maybe you close the eyes here or soften the gaze as you come back to the breath. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead and exhale as you fold all the way down. Hands to the shins, inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale to fold, step the right foot to the back of the mat, keep the knee lifted this time if it feels all right. And inhale as you draw your chest away from the front thigh and hover your fingertips over the floor, your runner's lunge. Look down to your left big toe. Take a breath in. And with your exhale, reach your arms forwards to that Y shape. Squeeze the shoulders. Plant the hands down into the floor, push the ground away, sweep your left leg to the sky. And then step your left foot to your left thumb. Rise all the way up, sweep the arms up overhead, high lunge. Right hand comes down to the inside of the left foot, hand to floor or block as you sweep the left fingertips up to the ceiling, getting that little twist to the bent knee. Breathe for three. For two. And for one. Left hand comes down to the floor, plant the palms into the floor, step it back to a plank. High or low, your choice. Spread the fingers, press the ground away with the hands, find a bit of broadness across your upper back and a bit of broadness across the chest. Set the knees down to the floor and with your exhale, bend the elbows, keep them into the waist and lower all the way down. Press into the tops of the feet, inhale as you peel the rib cage off the floor, shine the heart forward, baby cobra, and exhale to lower. This time with your inhale, lifting the chest off the floor and the hands, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Gaze down to the floor underneath the face. Breathe for three, for two, and for one. Hands and chest lower, push the hands into the floor as you lift up onto all fours, tuck the toes and make your way to downward facing dog. Look between the hands, take a breath in, and with your exhale, step or jump the feet to the top of the mat and fold forwards. Interlace the hands behind the back, start to bend the knees, bring the weight into the heels and lift the chest, coming through Utkatasana, your chair pose, but we're reaching the fists down towards the floor behind the bum. Try not to over arch and stick the bum and ribs out, so find a bit of length in the low back and hug the ribs in. Breathe. Next, inhale, press through the feet, stand all the way up, reach the arms up overhead, and exhale as you fold all the way down. Hands to the shins, inhale, lift and lengthen halfway, 
and exhale to fold. Step the left foot to the back of the mat, keep the knee lifted. Inhale as you lift up onto fingertips, draw the chest away from the front thigh. Next exhale, reach your arms forwards to that Y position. Look down to your right big toe. You can always set the back knee down if you want a bit more support. Plant the hands into the floor, push the ground away. Inhale as you sweep right leg to the sky. And exhale as you step right foot to right thumb or wrist. Press down through the feet and rise up to your high lunge. Left hand comes down to floor or block as you sweep the right fingertips up towards the ceiling. Your twist towards the bent leg. Breathe for three. For two. And for one. Right hand comes down to the floor, step it back to a plank. Set the knees down and lower the body all the way to the floor. Inhale as you peel the rib cage off the floor, shine the heart forward, baby cobra, press through the pubic bone. And exhale to lower. Inhale to lift the chest and the hands. This time if you want to lift the legs, you can. Breathe for three. For two. And for one, legs, hands and chest come down to the floor, push yourself up onto all fours, tuck the toes, make your way to downward facing dog. Inhale as you look between the hands, exhale, step or jump the feet to the top of the mat, fold forwards. Interlace the hands behind the back, make a fist, bend the knees, Bring the weight into the heels. See if you can lift the toes as you start to lift the chest and come into your chair pose. Check you can see the toes poking out over the knees. Breathe. Next inhale, stand all the way up. Reach the arms up overhead and exhale, hands to heart center and down by the sides of the body, your mountain pose. Closing the eyes or softening the gaze. Coming back to repeating the Atta Mantra in your mind with the inflow and the outflow of your breath. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale as you swan dive all the way down. Hands to the shins, inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale to fold, step the right foot to the back of the mat, keep the knee lifted. Inhale as you lift to your runner's lunge. Exhale, arms wide, t shape Take a breath in and then exhale, arms forwards to that Y shape. Plant the hands into the floor, push the ground away. Inhale, sweep left leg to the sky, three-legged dog. And then exhale as you bend your left knee and open the hip to the left. Keep pressing firmly through both hands. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, forward to a plank, knee towards the chest. Really push the ground away. You can always set the right knee down if you want a bit more support. Hold it here for three, for two, and for one, step your left foot back to a high plank. Press through the hands, start to lower your hips slightly. Draw the heart forward and the shoulders back, your upward facing dog variation. So we're squeezing the thighs and the glutes, not letting the hips dip and wobble. Breathe. Push the ground away, start to lift the bum to the sky, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, lift the heels, sink the chest towards the thighs like you're trying to crouch towards the floor. And then push through the feet as you wave forward to your plank. Lower down onto the forearms and come to your forearm plank. You can always set the knees down. You can have palms flat to the floor or you can bring palms together for prayer hands, whatever feels best for your shoulders. Really push the forearms into the floor. 
Make sure the bun's not stuck up in the sky, but also not dipping towards the floor. Breathe for three. For two. And for one. Set the knees down, start to lower the hips to the floor, untuck the toes and press into the tops of the feet. Separate the palms, plant the palms into the floor and come to Sphinx Pose. So the elbow is underneath the shoulder. We're pressing into the palms and the elbows and then reaching out through the crown of the head. Draw the heart forward and shoulders back, press into your pubic bone. If this is too much for the low back, you can always shuffle your hands a little further forwards. Breathe for three, for two, and for one. Moving the elbows out the way, lower the chest to the floor, bring the hands by the chest, push yourself up onto all fours, make your way to downward facing dog. Bend the knees, lift the heels, sink the chest towards the thighs, crouching towards the floor, and then push through the feet as you wave forward to your high plank. Lower down onto your right forearm, and then rolling onto the outside edge of your right foot. You can stack left foot on top of right, or one foot in front of the other. Reach your left fingertips up to the ceiling. If you want a bit more support, bend your left knee and plant the foot to the floor in front of your right leg. Really press the forearm into the floor. You can move that arm around to a position that feels best for you. Really press out through the soles of the feet. Imagine that you're standing. Breathe. Take a breath in as you reach through your left fingertips. And with your exhale, thread your left fingertips underneath your right armpit. Inhale, reach the fingertips up to the ceiling. Exhale, thread it under. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, thread it under. Inhale to reach the fingertips up to the ceiling and then set your right hip down to the floor. Bend your left knee and plant the left foot in to the floor in front of the right knee. Reach your left fingertips down towards the bottom of your mat and lift your right foot off the floor. If this is too much for your right elbow, you can always come up onto the hand. Breathe for three, for two, and for one. Lower the foot, bring the hands to the floor at the top of the mat. Push the hands into the floor as you lift up. Sweep your right leg to the sky, and then step your right foot to your right thumb. Push down through the feet, rise all the way up, high lunge. Hands come down to the floor, step the left foot to meet the right foot at the top of the mat, fold forwards. Interlace the hands behind the back, make a fist. Bend the knees, bring the weight into the heels as you lift up to your chair pose. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, reach the fists down to the floor. Try not to over arch into the back. Push through the feet, inhale as you stand up, reach the arms overhead and exhale to swan dive all the way down. Hands to the shins, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale to fold, left foot to the back of the mat, keep the knee lifted. Inhale, as you lift yourself away from your front thigh and hover the fingertips, exhale, arms wide, T-shape. Take a breath in and exhale, arms forwards to that Y shape. Plant the hands into the floor, inhale, sweep right leg to the sky. Exhale as you bend the knee and open the hip to the right. The so right heel is coming towards left bum cheek. Try and square the shoulders. With your inhale, come back to center and exhale forward to a plank, knee towards the chest. Keep pushing the ground away. Hold for three. For two, and for one, step your right foot back to meet the left, high plank. Start to lower the hips and then lengthen down the front of the body as you draw the heart forward, shoulders back. If you want to, you can always flip onto the tops of the feet for upward facing dog or stay on the toes. 
push the ground away, start to lift the hips up to the sky, downward facing dog. Bend the knees, lift the heels, sink the chest towards the thighs, crouching to the floor, and then wave forward to your plank. Lowering down onto the forearms. You can keep the knees lifted or you can set them down on the floor in your forearm plank. You can bring the palms together for prayer hands or press the palms into the floor. If the knees are lifted, press out through the heels and reach out through the crown of the head. Breathe for three, for two, and for one. Set the knees down, lower the hips, uncurl the toes, take the feet a little wider, press through the tops of the feet, press through the palms and the elbows and find your sphinx pose. So we're lengthening through the spine, draw the heart forward, shoulders back, press down through the pubic bone and breathe for three. For two. And for one, moving the elbows out the way as you lower the chest down to the floor. Bring the hands by the chest, push yourself up onto all fours. Make your way to downward facing dog. Bend the knees, lift the heels, crouch low to the floor. Push through the feet as you wave forward to your high plank. Lower down onto the left forearm and then rolling onto the outside edge of the left foot, either stacking the feet one foot in front of the other or bend your right, uh, right leg and place it to the floor in front of the left leg. Reach your right fingertips up to the ceiling if it feels comfortable. Really pushing the ground away with that left arm. Take a breath in as you reach through the right fingertips and then exhale as you thread your fingertips underneath the armpit. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to thread. Inhale, reach up and exhale to thread. Inhale to reach up and then set your left hip down to the floor, bend your right knee, plant the right foot to the floor in front of your left knee. Lift your left foot off the floor and reach the right fingertips down towards the foot. You can always lift up onto your left hand if it's just feeling too much for your arm to be on the forearm. Breathe, lift as high as you can with that left leg for three, for two, and for one. Plant the hands down into the floor, turn to face the mat, push, your ground, push the ground away, sweep the left leg to the sky and then step the left foot to the left thumb. Find your grounding through the feet as you rise up to your high lunge. Hands come down to the floor, step the right foot to meet the left foot at the top of the mat, fold forwards, interlace the hands behind the back, make a fist, bend the knees, bring the weight into the heels and lift up to Utkatasana, your chair pose. Press down through the feet, inhale as you stand up, reach the arms up overhead and bring the hands down to the heart center and down by the sides of the body. Tadasana. So again, you can take a moment here to close the eyes or soften the gaze. Taking a deep breath in, in your mind, say at. And as you breathe out, in your mind, ha. Just that little reminder to come back to the now. Next, inhale, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale as you fold all the way down. Hands to the shins, inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. And exhale to fold, step the right foot to the back of the mat, keep the knee lifted. Inhale as you lift your runner's lunge, so hovering the fingertips over the floor. Look down to your left big toe. Plant the hands into the floor, push the ground away. Inhale, sweep left leg to the sky. And exhale as you bend the knee, open the hip to the left. Keep pressing firmly through both hands. Inhale to come back to center and exhale forward to your plank, knee towards the chest. 
pushing the ground away with the hands, lifting the hips higher to the sky. Breathe for three, for two, and for one. Bring the weight into the right hand. Roll onto the outer edge of the right foot. You can lift your bent left knee to point up to the ceiling along with your left fingertips, or you can step your left foot in front of your right leg for a bit more support. Maybe you need to shuffle your right leg away a little bit. So give yourself space if you feel like your hips are too high in the sky. Bring the left hand down to the floor. Step the left foot back to meet the right in your high plank. Start to lower the hips. Draw the heart forward. Feel that stretch down the front of the body as you take the shoulders back slightly. Upward facing dog. You can flip onto the tops of the feet if you want to. Keep the knees and the thighs lifted. And then push the ground away and lift back up to downward facing dog. You can always set the knees down first. Looking between the hands, step or jump the feet to the top of the mat, fold forwards. Press down through the feet, inhale as you rise up, sweep the arms up overhead, look to the thumbs and exhale as you fold all the way down. Hands to the shins, inhale, lift halfway. Exhale to fold, left foot steps to the back of the mat and inhale to lift to your runner's lunge, looking down to your right big toe. Plant the hands into the floor. Inhale, sweep right leg to the sky. And exhale, bend the knee, open the hip to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward to your high plank, knee to the chest. Breathe for three. For two. And for one, bring the weight into the left hand, roll onto the outside edge of the left foot. Right knee points up to the ceiling like a half uh, tree. And then reaching right fingertips up to the ceiling or plant your right foot to the floor for a bit more support. Breathe for three. For two. And for one, right hand comes down to the floor. Step your right foot back to meet the left, high plank. Start to lower the hips, draw the heart forward, shoulders back. You can flip onto the tops of the feet if you want to. Push the ground away, lift the hips to the sky, downward facing dog. Come down onto the knees, bring the big toes together, take the knees wide and find a child's pose. Start to check in with the wrists. You can rest the forehead to the floor or the hands. If you want to make it a little bit more restorative, you can bring the arms down by the sides of the body. And taking deep breaths into the back. So as you breathe in, feel your rib cage expand across your back. In your mind, say at. And a long breath out, maybe out through the mouth. <sighs> that ha sound. Slow, steady breath. If your arms are down by the sides of the body, bring the arms back up overhead and then lifting the forehead and the chest slightly, just enough so that you can slide your right arm underneath the left and rest the right shoulder and the right ear down to the floor. You can keep reaching your left arm overhead. You can lift the elbow or you can rest the arm down or you can wrap your left arm around the back. If you want to increase the stretch across the right shoulder, just come out of the twist slightly and place the forehead to the floor instead.
Bringing your left hand back to the floor. Slowly lifting up just enough so that you can slide your right arm out. Plant the right hand to the floor and slide your left arm under. Taking that little twist to the opposite side. And then choosing what you want to do with your right arm. If you feel like your mind is starting to drift, and now is another opportunity to come back to the Atam Mantra. Just that daily reminder to come back to what's happening now. Bring in the right hand back to the floor. Slowly lifting yourself up to slide your left arm out and then keep pushing the hands into the floor, walking the hands back towards you to roll all the way up. Come to sit on the bum, swing the legs round and bring the legs out in front. Dandasana, our staff pose. So bring the legs out, press out through the soles of the feet and lift the toes up. And then reaching up through the crown of the head. And bring the hands down by the sides of the body, pressing the hands into the floor. But if the hands don't comfortably meet the floor, you can always grab a couple of blocks or some books. If your arms are long, bend the elbows. So we're pressing the fingertips and the knuckles into the floor or into our blocks or books. And then reaching up through the crown of the head. Shoulders are drawing back and down slightly. Feel that length down the front of the body, drawing the heart forwards. Fully active pose. Maybe you close the eyes or soften the gaze. Five breaths. You can always repeat the mantra in your mind for another four, three. and one with your next inhale reach your fingertips up to the ceiling and then with your exhale hinge forward from the hips and fold so when you feel that rounding in the upper back just float the hands down you can either take hold of the legs or the feet or just rest the hands either side of the legs you can bend the knees if you want to with your inhale, find length through the spine, shine the heart forwards, and then exhale to bow. And you can take a couple more of these if you want to, or you can just find a bit of stillness here. With your next inhale, slowly lifting up. Make sure you've got plenty of space behind you to roll yourself all the way down and come onto the back. Hug the knees into the chest once you're there. Little rock from side to side, just massaging out the back. And then take your arms to a wide uh, T-shape or cactus arms and then drop the knees down to the right. Maybe you shuffle the hips to the left. Maybe you turn the head to the left. Closing the eyes or softening the gaze. And just noticing if your mind does start to drift as you start to slow it down. Acknowledge any thoughts that pop up, but try not to attach. Just keep reminding yourself to come back to the now. Sending the breath into the left side of the body.
And when you're ready with your next inhale, bring the head and the knees back to center and then drop them down to the opposite side. Bring in the head and knees back to center. Give yourself a little hug, hug the knees into the chest, any little final movements that you want to make before coming to Shavasana for your final relaxation. So adding any extra layers, any cushions, anything to get yourself really comfortable. And maybe you've got the legs out long, bit of space between the legs. Or maybe you've got the knees bent Feet wide, knees knocking in, just so that the body can support itself. And you can take a deep breath in through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. Take another deep breath in, in your mind, say at, and sigh the ha out through the mouth. And you can take another one of these if you want to. We're just coming to notice the inflow and the outflow of the breath. And try to keep repeating the Atta Mantra to yourself for these last few moments of practice. That reminder to show up to your practice just as you are. If you feel like you need to rest for a little while longer, then don't feel like you have to move. But if you are ready to move, just start to bring some small movements into the fingers and the toes, rolling through the wrists and the ankles. And if you want, you can take a full body stretch, you can take the arms overhead or just reach out through the fingertips and the toes. And then bring in the knees up into the chest and give yourself a very well-deserved hug for making it onto your mat today. If it feels good to do so, just rolling onto one side. Pausing here, taking a few more soft, easy breaths. Atta, yoga, anushasanam. Now the practice or exploration of yoga begins. When you're ready, slowly start to push yourself up to come to a comfortable seat. You can keep the eyes closed or you can blink them open as you find a bit of length through the spine. And if you wish to join me, bringing the hands to the heart center and bowing the forehead to the fingers, thanking each of you for joining me today. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you.